So this is just going to be a quick video, an update on the asparagus bed. I just moved these this year, as you guys know, because you watched the other video. And you could see, like, as soon as I moved them, um, they perked right up. So the asparagus is growing again. That one's pretty big, actually. So, look at that one, that crown. And we're going to give you an update in about a week. I'm going to just add a few videos together here of the uh, asparagus in the bag. All right. So we're going to do the second part of the video. It's been a few months. Actually, it's only been a month since... um since you first saw the asparagus, but I just wanted to show you some kind of cool stuff. These were the ends of uh, onions. So you cut off an, an, the, you eat the, the ball of the onion, you cut it off. We, these were store-bought onions and we planted the ends and they, uh, they grew. That's really cool. That's, I just wanted to show you that. Anyways, so here are the um, asparagus. We put some um, lettuce in there and that's a herb. What herb are you? That's sweet basil down there. But we put some lettuce in there. You can see they get, they look like uh, little pine trees. You can see that? Um, the asparagus does. And then a few of them are going to seed. So that, see those? They look like um, balloons, basically. Those are the seeds. Now, the wind is gonna like push these around like this which actually strengthens the root for next year as well. So these ones are gonna seed. So since the last video, they actually grew um, asparagus everywhere. Like I could have cut them, but I didn't want to on the first year. And uh, then you just let them keep growing. And then this is what they become is this, uh, this little tree with the, looks like a Charlie Brown Christmas tree actually. Look at that one, see? Like how it's like, and then those are like the Christmas ornaments. They're really soft when they go to seed. It, it's almost like a feather. So that's that's what's going on. Basically, the first year, this year, we're gonna let them go to seed. Um, the next year, we're actually going to start eating them and harvesting them. Um, and then next year, what I'll do is I'll put the if there's any more in the back which I know there is going to be some because there is when you transplant something or you dig something up and move it you're always going to have remnants of the original wherever you took them from so what I'll do is I'll dig them up like I said I know there's going to be some and I'll probably put one here and then maybe uh over there uh maybe where these lettuces are because obviously the lettuces are um annuals so but that's pretty cool yeah this one's probably about uh four and a half foot tall and then you can see like actually there's an asparagus growing next to it right there so if i wanted to i could cut that but i'm not going to i'm gonna let it grow and do its thing and then next year we're gonna harvest them but so from me transplanting them, pulling them up, pulling up the roots, putting them in here. They look like they were going to die for a, little, a few days. And then they grew to this size, like right here. So I, I could have harvested them, but I didn't because I didn't want any damage to happen to the roots and all that. You want to establish a good bed. Now this, okay? So what will happen is this will eventually die off, okay? And then when it dies off, turns brown, what I'll do is I'll snip it, um, like right here. I'll just snip it. Maybe at the bottom, I don't know. Wherever I decide, really. But, uh, and then I'll cut it into little pieces usually, and then leave it in the bed. It kind of helps with mulching and whatnot. So it's pretty cool. There you go. There's actually these two, because I think there's different varieties. These two have the real big seeds and then the the rest of them had these like little seeds in them so those were i think they're they're two different varieties too because they the they look a little bit different 
I'm trying to get the focus. There you go. There's one seeds. And you see the difference? Obviously you do. So there's two different varieties, maybe three, not positive. I seem to remember something about like Queen Victoria or New Jersey Giant. I don't know, but there we go. So we're going to continue to do videos on the asparagus and other videos. I've already made a bunch of other gardening videos type things. Um, got a lot of gardening projects going on out there. So if you want to see those, like, subscribe, share the videos. Uh, leave a comment. Tell me what kind of videos you want to see. If you're like, ah, oh, I like apple trees. Well, I got apple trees. I just haven't made any videos about them because, you know. So just leave me some comments, encouragement. Tell me what you want to see next. And I'll try to work on that. All right? God bless.